Hey, I'm gonna show you the making of the basics in front panel. Building a front panel is done by adding components like group frames, knobs, sliders, etc. Okay, let's switch the front panel in editing mode and add the necessary components. Double clicking a component opens its properties dialog where you can make changes which are applied automatically. There are two ways to get a specific component onto a front panel. Some components can be drag dropped on a front panel, but that doesn't work with all types of components. For example, this waveform display can't be drag dropped because when I click drag in the waveform display, it starts drawing another waveform. In other words, the click drag is already used for another functionality. So how to get this waveform display on the front panel? That's done via the front panel add component function. First choose a component type. Then a pointing hand cursor appears with which you can select the specific object. While this pointing hand cursor is on, the choosing process is on. And you can click window title bars or press Ctrl tab to activate covered windows if that would be necessary. OK, I choose this waveform display. This waveform display now is a child component of the group frame. A child component is only visible within the bounds of its parent. That's why we only see part of the waveform display now. So I'll resize it so it matches the design. And give it the right colors. Okay, let's add the next component. As you see, parameters can be drag dropped directly on the front panel. No need to go via the add component function. The copy paste size and copy paste colors are handy functions to speed up the front panel workflow. OK, let's add the second oscillator frame. The last copy size is still on the clipboard, so I can still reuse it. Now the vibrato frame.
you can drag drop colors to other color fields to copy them, even between different dialog windows. If a color is set to no color, then the default color is used. Let's add the filter frame. For small components, where the borders are close to each other, you can hold the ALT modifier key to ensure moving instead of resizing. Now the AMP frame. Next, the echo frame.
last but not least the oscilloscope frame. When a group frame's title is empty, it is shown without the title bar. Of course, this dropped oscilloscope is much too big for this frame, so I'll make it smaller to easily handle it. Okay, here we are. Note that you don't have to make your own front panels. There are many presets in the library. Let's check it out.